years now. Uh, Cleveland is a great city. There's a lot to do up here. Uh, we got a lot of places of interest. You can come visit. Uh, great music. Uh, home of rock and roll, you know. A lot of places you can visit and have a good time. On the phone, her living boyfriend started assaulting her. She had to go before the boyfriend grabbed the phone. Uh, we're going to a call for uh, a male assaulting his girlfriend. Uh, third party call from uh, out of town. The, gr uh, the girl called her cousin. He called us, said uh, she told him that uh, the boyfriend was assaulting her, that she couldn't talk on the phone too long. So we're going to head over and see what's going on. 12 Lincoln, we arrived. 100%. Don't say nothing to her at Don't this say point. To her and go. This is my home. Listen, you're under arrest. You understand that, Amanda? No, you need to listen. No, I'm not going nowhere. I'm, sir. One more time, I'm going to taste you. Stop it. Listen to my partner. Oh my God. All right. Have a seat. Tell me from the beginning what happened. On my way home from work, which I got off at 8:30, which was like two hours ago. He started cussing me out because I was on the phone talking to my mother. So we get to the house. I'm like, man, just please leave me alone. I am exhausted. I just want to go to bed right now. So she goes in there and starts cooking or whatever. And then I come in here. He runs up on me talking about getting off the phone and all this other stuff. I'm like, Nene, do not put your hands on me. That's the last time. This is not the first time he put his hands on me. Okay. And I'm, I'm not, I'm tired of it. I'm just ready to go. Where he hit you at? In my face. And then I, I don't know what's wrong with my finger. You think it's broken? Can you bend it? It's numb, I know that. Let me see your face. Where else did he hit you? In my face. Mm -hmm. And that's why I was fighting him back because y'all was downstairs. Otherwise, I wouldn't even hit him back. I saw you grabbing your leg. Did he hit you in that leg also? No, I was shaking. Okay. I can't understand how somebody with two daughters can put their hands on a woman. This doesn't make sense to me. 
Actually, when I was in the house, mm -hmm. as I was watching the baby up, that's when we heard the knocking. Because when we, what's the name of the name, cooking, was cooking, I was in the room watching the baby up, then we heard a knock. Then I asked her, say, did you not bring nobody over here to like tear my house up and nothing like bring stuff through all the stuff? I said, no, I'm going to call 911. I grabbed a cell phone, that's when I heard some knocking, kicking, like somebody kicking my door in. I called 911 because I didn't know who that was downstairs. Okay. And then that's what happened. What was that stumping we heard when we were downstairs? Stumping? Yeah. That was her. All that rattling. Really? It was no rally. What she did, she opened that door, and I said, do not open that door downstairs so you know who it is. Because I wasn't trying to, I don't know what she was doing in that room. Be honest with you. At no mm -hmm. point tonight, tonight. And that was it. Okay. Did you guys get into a, uh, an argument? Nope, not no physical. Nothing yeah, physical, no but you physical. got an argument? And, yep. Yep, we right, both of us all right there. Right, right in there. I said, and she went in that room, and I went in that other room. Yep. All right, watch yourself, okay? Okay, I'm watching. We're going to take him for domestic violence and kidnapping. She said when you guys knocked at the door, he prevented her from going downstairs and opening the door for you. He grabbed her and held her against her will. So we're going to go domestic violence and the kidnapping with it based on what she said. Okay, I, I heard her say it when we're at the bottom of the stairs that let me go, stop hitting me. So that's why we okay. put in the door and everything. Okay. So we're good with that. We'll just All right. write up like that. Okay, Serge? Okay, that's right. a good job. When I was a kid, my family became uh, friends with a lot of law enforcement officers from various agencies. And they'd always tell me stories about the type of stuff they did. And after I got out here on the streets and started patrolling and doing this job, I found out it's, it's great. You know, you get out and it's a different thing every day. You accomplish something. It looks like a female Hispanic driver. It looks like that, uh, 65th and 11 Hill. That looks like a stone, occupied stolen vehicle out of uh, Nevada here. 6-5 committed at 21st and Valletta. Hands up! Occupants are compliant. Driver! Let me see both your hands! When you stand up, stand up away from me! Go ahead and stand up away from me! Start walking backwards to the sound of my voice! Keep coming! Stop right there! Sidestep to your left! There you go, perfect. No. Face away from me, face away from me, face away from me. I don't understand. Face away from me. You're good right there. Drop me onto your knees. I can understand what's going Just on. listen to him. Just listen to his okay, directions. Okay. Don't ask questions. Okay, don't don't put your butt down on the back of your feet. Go ahead and get your butt in there. You're perfect right there. Don't move, okay? okay. Just you and your partner in the car there? Yeah. Okay. Stop the vehicle for me. Okay. The guns on your left leg, Double neck brace, man. Make sure you don't have any gun. Yeah, brace it down in there, okay? Now I take seat for Okay. Passenger, with your hands where I can see him at all times, start walking backwards to the sound of my voice. Okay, stop right there. Start scooting to your left. You're good. Start walking back. And get a drop down right there to your knees. There's nobody else in the car. Yeah. Let me know when you got your detain. I'll go up and clear the car. Oh, wow. Clear. How you doing? Hello. I didn't catch your name. What was your name? Amy. Okay. Amy, is that the uh, information you gave the other officer over there? Yes. Okay, so you're you're riding in with your friend. What, what's her name over there? Joanna. Joanna. Okay. Um, whose vehicle is this? Julie. Julie. Okay. Uh huh. Okay. Who's Julie? Um, she's one of my friends. Why do you have her car? Because I was going to pick up Joanna. Okay. How long have you known this lady, Julie? Julie, for about two, three years. Two, three years. Yeah. And how long has she had this car for? Um. Mm, let me see. I think she got it a couple weeks back. A couple weeks back? Yeah, she, she, just, she hasn't had a car in a long time. Okay. And she had... She Do you know where she got the car from? Oh, what did she say? Some tow place. An impound place, like a tow yard, you know? I don't know which one, though. Okay, so you're saying she... You, did she tell you this? Yeah, or she said, she said, I got this cheap car from, from the tow yard. I just have to uh, register it in California. I was like, oh, okay. Well, can I borrow it to go get JoJo? And she said, yeah. And she said you could borrow it? Yeah, she said I, I had to bring it back later on tonight. You wanted this car stolen? <gasps> uh, 
No wonder I'm being drawn down by No, I did not, sir, or else I would have never even got in it. Okay. Never, ever would I ride in a stolen car. What's your history? Oh, you have, you have previous arrest for like, grand theft or something? Right, You're yeah, on probation. I, it, I, I just got on probation. I'm doing okay. my work project. I have a probation. Any of your, any of your prior arrests involved uh, grand theft auto? No. No. Never. Okay. Never, ever, ever, ever. Okay. Everything that I've been arrested for, it's really not is what it makes out to be. Tell you what, hang tight while we do some uh, further investigating, okay? And we'll let you know uh, at whatever point we decide which way to go with this, okay? All right. This vehicle was taken overnight from a casino from a person named Devin. He's the only person that has the right to the car. I'm sure the car got passed a million ways, but no paperwork in the car, so. Yeah, maybe. Using yeah. it for a rock rental or something like that? Yeah, we got like paraphernalia kind of throughout the car, and uh, everything's leading towards, she knows it's stolen, Yeah. especially by her statement, so she'll yeah, go to jail for okay. stolen vehicle. All right, well, I got uh, everything taken care of as far as her statement. I'll follow up on that one name, but uh, that Sounds should good. be it. I'll start the paperwork, thanks, All man. Right. Hey, Amy. The officer didn't have some information that I've got. It's kind of looking kind of bad at you at this moment. Hi. Tell me the name of that person one more time. That Julie. Lets you Julie. Julie. She claims that she got this from a tow yard. Yes. What's Julie's history? Um, Julie. Criminal wise, what's her what's her criminal criminal history? It's been okay, I guess. I mean, she. How long you known her? Uh, three years. You wouldn't want to be caught in a stolen car, right? Yeah. Well, she said she got it no. from a tow yard. Listen to me. Would you want to be caught in a stolen no, car? No. So would you make it, being having a criminal pass? Wouldn't you try to make every single effort to make sure you're driving a legitimate car? Yeah. Yeah. What kind of key was that in the ignition? In a right, it looked like a regular key. I don't know. It looked like a, a regular key. key? It worked. Was it a Honda key? Yeah. Really? It worked. You sure? It's a key. That's the problem. It's a key. It's not a Honda key. It's just a generic key. When there's stolen cars, okay, the key would be shaven. It's not shaven. Would it normally be a Honda key that's in there? I don't know how what Honda keys look like. I don't know the difference. Okay. Let me ask All you I know one, is a shaved key one, one last is question illegal. For you. One, one last question for yes. you. Yes. With your history, do you think that you did the appropriate thing and checked on this car before you drove it? No, I didn't check. I didn't and check. You know what? I'm gonna add one more question. If you, you were a cop looking yes. at this whole per this whole thing uh -huh. from my perspective, yeah. what would you think? I would think. I would think let 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 the girl go take the car back and get the girl that originally stole it. Hmm. All right, sit tight. I did not steal anything. Hey, you're under arrest for stolen vehicle, okay? Passenger's gonna actually be cut loose, right? Yeah, it should be. I don't think she has any kind of uh, affiliation as far as the the stolen aspect of it goes. Fantastic. Just riding along. One thirty two in Bush. I've got him at gunpoint. Okay, gunpoint. One thirty two in Bush. Covers code three. Thanks, Ted. Viewer discretion is advised. is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Well, this is uh, South Florida. You know, the tourist industry is huge down here. We have Fort Lauderdale Beach and then we have Miami Beach. So there's constantly people from all over the world coming down here to visit. So it's our goal to make sure that when they come down here that they're safe, to make sure that they enjoy their, their uh, time while they're down here and uh, just to make sure that we keep this county safe at all times. One of our units are following a stolen tag on a vehicle and he believes it also might be a stolen car. So we're trying to catch up to him right now and we'll go ahead and stop it if we can catch up to him in time. Task Force is going to be with one through the complex, male, white t-shirt. Go back, stop, rock. Through the complex, maybe trying to go back to the car. Male running, stop, down through the complex. Alpha 3, show me to the car. Stop, 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 guys, through the complex. White tank, Ten thirty three, ten thirty three. He's in the canal, he's in the canal. And uh He's in the canal. Get me units, he's in the canal. Four thousand back to the car. Swim to me! Swim to me! Swim to me! 
Swim to me! Swim to me! Hi. Yankee 25. I'm on the border of Lakeview and Forest Park. I need another unit before I go in the canal. He's going under. I can't go in by myself. Help me. Swim to me. Swim to me. Swim to me. Stay back. Swim to me. 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 Swim. Swim. He's going to be out Swim. Swim to me. I'm going to hear him. I can't come right there. Right there. Get on the ground. There's the hole right there. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. I can't breathe. Get on the ground. Put your hands on your back. Put your hands on your back. Stop resisting. I can't breathe. I can't breathe. We're on the border. Forest Park and Lakeview. Get on the ground. 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 Get on I saw him, he jumped in the canal, he starts swimming halfway out, he starts going under. Sit in the car, bro. Fox can't swim, dude. How are you gonna let me catch you, man? <laughs> I'm the slowest dude on the force. How are you gonna let me catch you? You should be able to outrun me. Come on. Come on, get him up. Uh, have you seen the car, big guy? Watch your knee, man. When I got behind it, I ran a tag. It came back. That was a stolen tag. Okay. Which attacked to a newer vehicle. Right. Probably stolen. Was stolen. Vehicle. Um, he wasn't avoiding me, but he seemed like he was going back to the neighborhood that's dead end. Right. So right. I figured eventually he was going to bail out on me. Right. Right. So you just bailed out. When he came up to a parking spot, you let him up. I thought he was going to stop, so I went ahead and put my lights on, and the door popped open, and the vehicle came to an abrupt stop, and then he, he ran. It was great, though, man. It was a good job. This is a uh, a newer vehicle. And what they do a lot of times, the newer vehicles when they're stolen, they put uh, stolen temp tags on the vehicle. And uh, Deputy Dodge ran this temp tag, and it came back stolen. And uh, when Deputy Dodge was behind him, he knew from his experience that a lot of these newer cars are usually stolen when they have these temp tags on them. And sure enough, he comes in here. He, uh, he actually tried to flee this way. He got stuck, and he realized it was a canal when he bailed out. Um, we foot chased him. We caught him in the canal. And uh, they came back to the vehicle. They ran the VIN, and the VIN has come back stolen out of Hollywood. So uh, this guy's going to be going down tonight for resisting with us, Grand Theft Auto. Possession of stolen property for the stolen tag, um, as well as uh, obstruction. So that's what we have on him right now, and we haven't ran him for warrants yet or anything like that, but he might be on probation too on top of this, so we'll have to wait and see when he comes back. Why'd you run tonight, man? Because my license is suspended. Don't you think it would have been a lot easier if you just would have given up? You could have been saved us all these headaches? Yes. So what's up with the vehicle? Whose vehicle is that? I bought the car from one of the, from my, like, a guy in the neighborhood. How much? $350. When did you buy the car? When? When? About two weeks ago when I got out of jail. Okay. You bought the car for $350 two weeks ago? Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't know who owns that car? No. Okay. Let me, listen to me. If you get a car for $350, which is that car is probably worth about $15,000, would not you think that maybe there's something wrong with the vehicle? And not to mention on that, you're running from the police when they try to stop you. No, he okay. never put his lights on. Whoever was behind me. Okay. Well, why'd you run from the car here? Because my license was spinning. I didn't want to go to jail. So I was okay, you know that vehicle stolen? No. Okay. Well, the vehicle stolen and that tag on the vehicle stolen as well. Are you on probation right now? No. I'm on pre-trial release. Pre-trial release for what? Driving with suspended license. That's it? Not Grand Theft Auto? Yeah. And Grand Theft Auto. Yeah. So you're this, oh, on, this listen, for me, Kenneth, who gives you a $15,000 car for $350? Who does it? This guy who... Well, who, you should have... I mean, you should know better, man, especially on pre-trial release for Grand Theft Auto. You should know that the vehicle's stolen. Let this be a lesson to you, okay? Don't run from the police in Oakland Park. I ended up with the North Las Vegas Police Department. 
I was trying to be a cop. I'm originally from Hawaii. I used to work with a lot of little kids with the National Guard, teaching them stuff like uh, the ropes course, life skills, and I guess I like talking with people, trying to help people out. That's just my thing. All right, we're just gonna be one block north. We got a disturbance call from neighbors. I guess earlier tonight we had a, a battery call and we have PC to arrest, probable cause to arrest these two subjects. Stand by. One out of three. Ross Moy Shield. Okay. And we're arriving. We'll see what, what these guys are up to. Control and Adam 3 arriving. Adam 3. And Adam 4 is that house right down the right. PR is supposed to be standing by. Yeah, I called a bed. What happened? Some police backs came here earlier. I had to have some problems with my roommate, and they said, call, call, call you guys back. Are they here? Yeah, they're here now. She called me names and stuff, called me names and all this stuff and stuff. I can't have that, man. Right. Step back over here, man. Why don't you come right here, man? In the back room back there. What's your name? My name's Greg. Gary. Gary. Right, have a seat. Who are you having problems with? My, my roommate and have, his, have a seat, man. his girlfriend in there. She's calling me names and stuff, man. They in the back there, man. They just came home. They told me to call the police. She thinks this is a big joke. Right here. Come here. Come stand here? down here in the hallway. Are yeah. you still here? No, no. It's Coming right down. Left. Come here. Yeah. Have a seat right there. Call me names and stuff. You guys think this is a big joke, man. This ain't no joke. Step down the hallway over here. Okay. okay. Got any it's weapons on you? Joke. No. Hey, you mean no? Just, just, just have a seat, man. You just call me a name. Call hey, me. You know hey, what? You're not gonna have sit a seat. inside the house and okay. argue about it. All right, I know. Have I know this on the set, though. No. You're gonna get up. You're gonna step outside while we conduct business. All right. All right. Step outside, man. All right. The bathroom, okay? Sit down. Sit down. All right. Okay, Wait for us outside. Go stand outside. You playing games? Talk to these folks. It's a big joke, man. It's a joke, man. You guys live here? Yes. Who owns the house? Um, I don't know who owns it, but I pay my rent here, and she's staying with me. Okay. He pays the rent. We got another roommate in there that pays rent. You guys both renting from a landlord? Yes. Okay. So you guys are all tenants here? Yes, there's three of us here. Um, um, Jesse, he's in his room. Okay. There's another roommate here. So what happened just now then? Why are we here? I don't know. I don't know. Who called? Did we, we you guys came, call or he no, called? I don't I don't have my phone. He's doing the call. Okay. I didn't. We were we came home. I got the keys. I came in here. Went down to my room, which uh -huh. is locked. I was going to my room, and he come out and started ranting and raving and, and calling we names, and, we and we just went right to our room. You been arrested before, Larry? Yes, I have. For what? Um, many things. You come up. I, I haven't registered my new address yet. I don't know what many things is. Um, well, Pat, years ago, I haven't been arrested for anything since I've been out here. This happened about 5 o'clock this afternoon. He's okay. got scratches on his arm, says that both him and this woman in here jumped on him and scratched him up. So I think that's going to be our PC. Okay. All right. So if you want to go interview him. Yeah, I'll go talk to him, so. Okay. So what happened earlier tonight? Who hit who first? He hit first. Larry okay. hit me first. What What did you do to make me hit? Did you say something or did I you just come? I called her a bitch. Okay. I said, you can, you can take sides over So me. it was verbal and then he just hit then you? Then he hit me. Larry hit me. Okay. Then we did. I had to defend myself. Then she jumped in it. Okay. So Fair enough. Is. Fair enough. I'm, I'm being honest, you know, but she ain't. She's not gonna do that. She's sitting there playing all Miss Nicey Nice, of course. Now, of course, I get. I've been getting upset. I got high blood pressure. I've been getting upset, but that's why. Relax, I'm man. That. I know. I'm just saying, but because I could have really did some serious damage to both of them, but I didn't. I'm not trying to do it. I want to do it right. the legal way. Who pushed first in when? the in the tussle earlier tonight? Earlier tonight, yeah, he came at me. He came at her, and I jumped in and between, and then he started shoving me, and I. So he shoved you first. Yes. Yeah? Yes, because sure? I got in between when he was going for her. Okay. I jumped in between and told him, hey, you know, you don't f with a woman. Okay. And that was it. And then. That's it? Just he pushed you and that was yeah, it? Yeah, there was a couple of pushes and that was it. And he still kept trying to go. Last time I checked, if you push somebody, there's the scratches can go up, go on the arm. I mean, how did he get the scratches on his arm? Well, probably for me when I was trying to block him. And I got where, fingernails. Where did you block him? Where, where did you push him on, on his body? It was in his arms, his chest. His you chest? Know, I got in between him and her, and it was shoving like this. 
you know, and, and when I... How many pushes? Well, I have no idea. There was more than one, but it wasn't one. I never said one. Okay. There was pushing okay, and shoving involved. Okay, first you told me there was just pushing. Then exactly. Now there's a, that's maybe all. there's a scratch. I mean... Well, no, when he pushed me down on the couch and I went, I could have grabbed his arm and scratched You could? Yes, I could. You could have or you did? I don't know if I did or not. It, you, it, you don't you know? know? Things were heated, you know. Things were heated? I was just trying to protect her. That's all I was doing. Okay. All right. Any word? Yeah, they're both 415. Okay, where's your shirt at? Where's my shirt? In yep. the room. And those are your shoes, right? Who scratched you? Uh, that girl. Okay. Cricket. Right here? Yeah. And then right there. Okay. All right. Well, thanks for your time, man. Okay. All right, thanks. All right, stand up. up. Turn around. Hands behind your back. Both of you two are being placed under arrest for domestic battery, okay? I wasn't here. I don't know what happened. That's between you, the judge, and then the guy outside, okay? I've been told there's enough probable cause to arrest both of you for domestic battery, and that's how it's going to go. All right, you guys can work this out later. When most people think about Las Vegas, they think about... The is filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Yesterday there was a uh, robbery with a gun and the uh, suspect vehicle was a brown Honda Accord in this area and the uh, plate was a partial plate and we're behind a brown Honda Accord in the same area and uh, the plate has a matching three letters. And Charles Five comes back with one monster stolen plate all right, 25, we are now eastbound El Camino from Grove. And looks like we're going to be in pursuit northbound Altos from El Camino. Happy northbound Altos from El Camino. Charles 25 speeds are uh, 65 miles an hour. No traffic. Someone can get a spike strip out on Norwood. We'll be coming out at uh, Norwood here, uh, westbound Arcade. We're about 25 miles an hour hitting a corner, and it'll be turning into Lindley. And stand by. Left on our kid turning to Lindley. All right, spike strip was missed. We're northbound Norwood. Uh, we're at 40 miles an hour. Uh, permission to pit when authorized. Charles 25, uh, we're northbound Norwood. Uh, traffic is still yielding. He's going in the opposite lane of traffic to make it through uh, Bell, and he's back in the uh, correct lane of traffic. Uh, no traffic in our direction northbound, 45 miles an hour. Copy northbound north, out of Bell. Charles C5, I copy permission to pit when uh, conditions are met. We're still uh, westbound Maine. Copy westbound Maine, coming to Levy. So when we have an opportunity, I'm going to go ahead and pit this car out and try to stall the engine. We've got enough units behind us. Charles 25, uh, we're westbound. He's uh, stopping for traffic just slow enough. We're doing about 40. Traffic is yielding. Coming up on Truxel westbound. He's shooting over to the very far left lane and he just clipped a uh, Lexus. Uh, not a major uh, 901. Southbound Truxel, I think, or Natoma, whatever this is. Copy southbound Truxel or Natoma. He's clipped that white car back there. It wasn't anything major. I think they just rubbed a little paint. Charles 25, southbound Truxel. Very light traffic. If there is any traffic, they're yielding. We're in the number one lane. Southbound Lockheed, I-Ida, number one lane. Copy Lockheed, I-Ida, number one lane. Uh, this car has some pep in its step. Uh, every time I try, uh, it's unsuccessful. It just waved at me. He's waving at us for some reason. Hey, okay, Amon, can we get some spike strips up ahead on Watt? He's going to continue in that direction. So let's see if we get the spike strips up at Marconi and Watt. All 
All right, that's right. Charles. Uh, wrong side of the road. He's southbound to the northbound lanes of what? Wrong side of the road. Charles C5, that's affirmed. He is wrong side of the road. Uh, his speed is about 55, and traffic is yielding all the way down to uh, the next major intersection. Caution, cross traffic on Marconi, cross traffic. Made his way through Marconi, continuing southbound. He's on the right side of the road now, southbound, south of Marconi. All right, Charles. Charles C5, I still uh, got the call. Ask Vito, you want me number one or two? All right, where we are southbound Watt coming up on El Camino. We got a red. Uh, he's shooting over to the very far right lane. Same guy, same thing, and a crazy pursuit ended, and then he ended up just you know giving up to the dogs and whatnot. But same dude, I, I saw the face. Here. That's the same guy. So he, he's uh, yeah. at all costs kind of guy. Yeah, I guess. He's bad news, man. Yeah. He's bad news. He will run. He will he will endanger anybody he can. We used the pursuit immobilization technique to stop the car for a while. There, we went to surveillance mode with the helicopter uh, to help keep the uh, the safety of the public in mind. But due to the severity of what had happened with the armed robbery yesterday. The need to apprehend this guy was it was good, and now it's time to uh, clean it all up. What happened out there? I wanted to stop, man. You, you wanted to? Yeah. At what point? I tried to whip my hands up. I was like, well, I saw you sticking your hand out the window. Is that what it meant? Is that you behind me? Yeah, yeah, it was me. Yeah. But you never did stop, though. Yeah, Why? Because he was on me. I was like, man, this dude's going to end up hitting me. I'm going to, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, what's up with it? Why did you, we didn't even light you up, and you just took off. I was scared, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's probably at large. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Just scared at large. Yeah. How long you been at large? It's for about two months, a couple months. A couple months. Yeah. What what office are you out of? Uh, Metro. Metro. What's up with the car? Where'd you oh, get that thing at? Last night. From wow. who? From some dude we in the Paso Heights. Do you even know the guy? No, not really, man. So you got it from somebody you barely know, and you're probably at large, man. You just you decide you want to risk everybody's life for what? nothing for nothing huh now look same result right if you would have just pulled over you still going to jail for being at large you still in a stolen car and you're probably gonna face a new term high-speed pursuit along with it you just added that one on yourself I work with a bunch of great guys and we're all really committed to our job to the area that we work in trying to make it a better place one of the main reasons I, I really like working in White Center is just the, uh, the cultural diversity of the area. Um, I, get, I get to deal with people that outside of law enforcement I would never have the opportunity to, to deal with or interact with. And, uh, that, that makes the job really interesting. So we've got a guy over here, I know him, his name's Danger. He's been involved in a lot of stuff lately. Running across the street, he's got a bottle in his hand. We're going to stop him, see what he's doing. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now. Get down on the ground, danger. Down. 
Down on the ground. Right now. Hands behind ah. your back. Hands behind your back. I didn't do nothing. You understand? They Hook hit me. Up. Yeah, you had the bottle in your hand, man. You had the bottle in your because hand. Because I'm trying to protect myself. 44, one uh, detained. It's been tased. I'm trying to Anybody protect myself. Anything? Unbelievable, man. What are you doing? We're all here with him. They jumped me, fool. Okay. Do you want me to open the air? Yeah, 3285. We don't need anybody else here. We're going to Okay. Hey, he ran into uh, to the bushes, grabbed this bottle. He was holding it like he was going to do some damage. <laughs> hey, danger. You're going to jail tonight for disorderly conduct. You understand? For what, man? For what? You know I'm not going to do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Okay, you grab. I watched you. Know you me. I watched I you grab the bottle, the bottle I didn't and you turned you. around I swear toward to God, him. That's that's all so okay. that's if I didn't see you. Okay. We don't we don't stand for that up here, man. You don't you know you don't do I that. Got, who, who else is gonna Come protect on, me? Dude, you know you were Call the police. Who? Who is on? What? There's three cops sitting right in front of the club. Why don't you why don't you go to them? I was right in front of the club. Yeah, why didn't okay. you tell us? Is no, 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 no. That's why you run to us, not to them. If you're You know what? You didn't look like you're getting jumped, man. Ran the wrong way. You ran, you picked I up. Ran, yeah. Hey, listen, you ran and you picked up the bottle because it's a weapon. That's what you do. How many times have you been arrested for stabbing people? How many times? Once. Okay. That's look that's exactly what it looked like you're gonna do, man. You grab your bottle and you turn right. Okay. Hey, all the, hey, look, 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 look. I was going to hit them if they were all going to jump me. That's why I ran with the bottle. The bottle's right there. Okay. That's why I was okay. running with it. Well, you're going to jail. Disorderly conduct. You understand? Can I, can I at least stand up? And you can sit up. Go ahead. Sit up. Sit. What's up? Listen, man. You're cool with me. I'm cool with you. You know what I'm saying? When I was standing right here in front of you, and you were telling me to get on the ground, there's a million things going on in my head. I so why did down? Why didn't you get down? Because I wasn't in the wrong. Okay. When the police tell you to do something, I know you're what do you to do? do it, but I thought, you know saying, me and you are cool. No. He, uh, he supposedly just assaulted two females in front of the club. He, he walked did. up. Yeah. He okay. walked up and starts punching them several times. He's got one female over there with a black eye. Her eyes all closed up right now. And another one got hit too. So that's what's going on. You should be thanking me, man. I, sa I saved your life. You beat up those two girls? I didn't beat them up. Did, did you punch a girl? Did you punch a girl? All I did was push them. Why? That's it. Why? Because they all started hitting me. So I okay. pushed them out of the way. So I started running all right. that way. So say thank you. Because I just they, saved you from a big old whooping from these guys. And then they were going hemp. You tell them to shoot me. Okay. All right. See all those guys? I know. That's why I picked up the bottle, man. Because you were beating on their women. I wasn't being on there, my no Why is her eye off? What's happening right now? She, oh, got, no. she got a big swollen eye, but she doesn't want to do anything. She doesn't want to do anything? I got to I gotta talk to her. Is he 17? No, he's eight. He's... Is he getting hit him back? Danger. How old are you? 19. 19. Excellent. Oh, my word. He did that to you? Yes, you we did... will prosecute. This, this we will guy, prosecute. Come on over here. We're going to talk real quick, all right? Did he hit you with a closed fist or an open fist? A closed fist. Really? Yeah. Like he see, like we were walking by minding my own business, just walking mm -hmm. by, and he started calling us bitches, and I was the only one close to him. And I was like, I go, you don't even know us. I go, why are you talking shit about us? So you've never seen he, this guy before? I seen him close to him, but I don't know him like that. And then he, he started swinging it. He started like I didn't even touch him. And just okay. when I asked him that, he went and thing like he started hitting me, and okay. I st I hit him as much as I could after he okay. hit me. And after he, I I couldn't see because he hit me, and I went like that, and my friend started going on, and he ran. Okay. All right. You guys witnessed this whole thing happen? Yes. yes. Okay. The okay. Then. Good deal. Well, he's gonna go to jail tonight. I'm telling you the truth, okay. man. I gotta take you to jail. I have a victim. She's got a black eye. I got all these people. So you punched her. All they did was push somebody. Hey, what were they saying before that? You're like you're a little bitch and you're telling me that that I was from Vatos Locos. I ain't from Vatos Locos. Okay. What do you claim? I don't claim nothing. This is so threatening. I don't bang no more. Bro. Why, am I, why am I? So you're bang? done. You don't bang no more. No. Okay. So they thought you were. That's why they're all up in your face. Yeah. But in the, but in the first place, I was never to be from Vatos Locos in the first place. You know what I'm saying? That's okay. why I was tripping, and then they all started jumping me. Okay. All right. And then I get put in jail. You got to look at it from my point of view, man. I can't have that going on up here. I'm responsible for what goes on up here, and that was some craziness. Told him several times to stop, to get on the ground. 
and uh, just our experience with him. I mean, he's he can oh, be yeah. very violent. Yeah. So I didn't want to tase him, but had to do it. Well, his nickname is Danger for a reason, so <laughs> so they say. Yeah. Okay, I've been a Cleveland police officer for 19 years now. I uh, spent 14 years doing detective work. And because of uh, administrative changes that were made, I'm uh, reassigned back to uniform for the time being. But this is, uh, this is where you learn the job at, you know, working in the zone car. This, this is where it all starts at. Bruce, we got 23 chasing the car up on Cedar. On Cedar? Yeah. yeah. Mill refusing to stop. 401, we're coming, up, we're on, coming uh, up on uh, Clarkwood and Central. Clarkwood and Central. Copy. Back towards the Come back, good report back here. Come back right where you were. Come back right where you were in the backyard. Go, go, go. Up there, up there. Andrews, I gave you. Hey! What was that? Give me your hands or I'm going to tase you. You understand it? Yeah. Right. Yeah, I got light. Where are we at? Chamberlain? What's the address here? Wow. Hey, got a big bag of crack back here. Under the porch? Yeah. 72. It was like stuck down in between the planks. Yeah, they're all wet. Tried to eat them. Yeah, they had them in his mouth. Watch them. This is right here. Yeah, it, was, it was like down in the planks. Yeah. Right there. Right here. Oh, yeah. It's wet. I, mean, I don't know if I grabbed it. Hold yeah, on, it on Trying to eat him? Or are you just well, carrying him there? I think yeah. you ripped the bag open. Yeah, he might have. 20 rocks? Yeah, 300 bucks. 500 bucks. Yeah. What's your name? Kenneth. Kenneth. You got any ID on you? Nope. 71st, Sarge. So you picked up a pocket full here, too. Mm. Oh, there we go. He bailed on the car, this officer chased him down and found him under a, a, a porch. Extracted him out of the, uh, from under the porch. A couple officers found a, a big rag, a big uh, bag of crack that apparently he was trying to eat. It's kind of wet and trying to break the bag open. I got the female too from the vehicle to, as he, he bailed, left his uh, female passenger in the vehicle. They got the vehicle down there on uh, 73rd now. Was he, was he like originally wearing a white t-shirt? He came out of it as he was running. He took it off. That's why I had him back in the, uh, in the fence. He just broke through the fence and came around to the backyard and jumped underneath the <laughs> Jumped underneath the porch. I'm standing here while he's doing it. <laughs> Anything that you want to say? Oh, yeah. yeah. Why did y'all pull me over, though? For running the red light at 79th and Central. He didn't stop before turning. We're going to give you a, a red light ticket, and instead, you refuse to stop. Twice. Why'd you keep running? 
Cause I don't know what y'all stopped me for, man. I didn't know. That's why you took off in the car? Yeah. Not because of anything you had on you? No. The crack that you put in the back there? No. No. Who's in the car with you? Female. Her name's Shonda. Is that your girlfriend? That's my friend. That you abandoned? I abandoned. You left her in the car when you took off running. Yeah, all right. All right, Kenneth, you know, we're charging with the VSDL, violation of state drug law. You're going to be trafficking, or confiscate your money Before for a criminal you. tool. We're going to tow your car. And you have felony fleeing and eluding. Okay? Right. You understand? Hey, All right. Uh, All right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. It looks like he was going to use this as an escape route, but he kind of ran out of room. He's probably going to try to go uh, through the vacant field, back out on the street, hoping that the police car wouldn't follow him. But... Someone decided to dump their concrete there, and they got an abandoned house on this side. So that's why he had to bail. What you, what you guys want to do with the girl, Gary? We're releasing. She's just a pastor, and uh, she was just held hostage by him on the chase. Okay. Roughly $20 for a rock. However many rocks are in there, I haven't counted them uh, yet. I'll count them back to the district. So he's got it all prepped for sale. Would have made a nice chunk of change off of these. That's a nice Lot of yelling. Can we get a couple more units? Come here. I have got a gun to my head. Control three baker one. She has a 413 to her head. Ma'am, do me a favor, put the gun down. Put put the gun down. No. Drop the gun. Come on. What's your name? Control three baker one. Can we get CNT out here? I've done this before with friends. I've had friends that are cops, okay? I'm not stupid. Ma'am, drop the gun, okay? No, because I'm not putting up with his and his daughter that he created. I didn't do this. His daughter has done this to us. And now Come on. The one putting up with this? No. Drop the gun, okay? No. Can we get somebody with a less lethal? What's your name? On the trigger, and it will go off if you come near me. Okay. What's your name? My name is Carol, and I'm sick, almost sick. Next month, I'll be 60. I don't need it. We can fix this. Look, I already shot around. Okay. Do the next one go off? No, no, Carol, Carol, just calm down. Well, then don't give me no Don't even come near me, because all it takes is one pump, and I will be... I know, okay? I don't care. I need you to calm down for me, though, okay? No, because why? Because we're here to try to help you. Come on, Carol, Carol, come back over here. No, you want to see it? Carol, don't do it, okay? No. Carol, I mean it. I I know you mean no, it, okay? You, I'm not I doubting know, you. Because you don't know how much I love this family, and this family doesn't give a about me. All he cares about is his drug addicted daughter, and I'm tired of giving my life to somebody that doesn't care about me. Carol, I mean, we can fix this. You don't even want to talk done. to Brandy? I am done. I'm telling you, I am done. He called the cops on me. That tells you right there. I am done, okay? 
All I have to do is put this right here and pull the trigger, okay? And then you guys can see the blood go and you can say, sorry, we missed. Okay? Because that's what's going to happen. I am not going down with you guys at all. No way. I don't care what you say, what you do, I am not moving. And if you try to come up on me, it's on the trigger. And I've already fired around, so I know it's loaded. Okay. So, go ahead. Make my day. Kim's here. Kim's here. Passage okay. negotiator. Okay. Okay. We're done. She's, did they brief you? What's she saying? She's 60, her boyfriend's 47. She's upset because of the way that he treats her. There was an 18 month and a four year old that are his. They got in an argument because she cooked dinner. He came home from work, said she was drunk and she's just fed up. She's already fired one round inside the house. And when we pulled up, she had the gun to her head. What's going on? Tell me what's going on right now. I just got here and I'm trying to help you out, okay? This is my partner, Kim. Carol, listen no, to me. No. Carol. I don't have to listen to any of you. None of you. I don't have to listen to you, or you, or you. Carol, I just, no. I just want you to talk to me. Carol. Carol. Don't come down. Carol. Don't come down. Carol. Carol, I can't hear you anymore. Carol. No, I'm not going to put the gun down. Stop. Carol. She looks like she's going to run back inside. Hold on. Everybody stay off the radio. Stay off the radio. Why did you shoot me? You guys, why? We got medical coming up. I didn't. You all right, Carol? No. My eye is hurting. And I have contacts in my eyes. We got medical coming, okay? Why did you guys shoot me? I put the gun down, okay? Okay, why did you shoot me then? That was not we, necessary. We needed, I put we needed to make sure you dropped the weapon. I, you okay. saw me drop the weapon. Okay. Yeah. All less lethal, Johnny. All, All less lethal. lethal. Uh, 40 correct. millimeter beanbag. All less lethal. Okay, we're going to have someone come look at you right now, okay? That would be nice. Okay. I'm in a lot of pain right now. My guy is killing me. I can't stand up. Okay. You want to sit up? That would be nice. Yeah. Oh God, my stomach hurts. You shot me in the stomach too. Okay. Oh God. And you've been shot with Leslie. You haven't been shot with a robot. Can you get me a cigarette over there on that? No, not right now. Okay. I can't. Oh, thanks a lot. I tried talking to her, but um, I thought it was working for a few minutes, and then it just started escalating, getting worse, and everything. And I think the reason why we ended up having to uh, use the less lethal was. She was trying to go back inside the house, and towards the end there, right before she went back in the house, she was making those statements about, tell my daughter I said I'm sorry, and things of that nature. And this tries to retreat back inside the house, so I, we didn't really have any choice other than to, you know, use the less lethal on her. So it turned out to be, you know, better than it could have been. Overall, she's still alive. I've been with the Cleveland Police Department for uh, over seven years.